Just saying. <laughs> okay, and I'm not saying I don't. I just, I just don't do it every time I'm getting ready to eat something. And it, this is what I say. God's words is life to me and health to all my flesh. I esteem the word of God more than my necessary food. Now, remember, these are scriptures. Some of them, most of them are scriptures, and some is where I'm just adding stuff. I nur I'm nourished up in the word of faith. My body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. I glorify God in my body and in my spirit. My body is cleansed and detoxified from all toxins, parasites, any candida, any cancer or sickness and diseases because I'm redeemed from the curse of the law. Bodily exercise is profitable for me. I exercise regularly three to five times per week and my body is strong and limber and has excellent muscle tone and endurance. I love to exercise and I eat healthy foods. I nourish my body and cherish my body as precious to the Lord. I am beautiful inside and out. I weigh a healthy 150 pounds. I wear a size 8 in clothing. I treat my body well and don't misuse it. Therefore, I come out from among foods that deplete my body of essential nutrients. I cancel all destructive cravings for food and substances that threaten my health and my well-being. I speak to all junk food that comes into my presence. I decree that you have no power to control me, my desires, or my appetite. I'm free from all bondage to unhealthy food products. I loose myself from all wrong attitudes of thinking of food and beliefs about food. I do not eat processed and unhealthy foods or drink unhealthy beverages. I plan and prepare eat food, healthy foods every day. Whatever I eat or drink, I do all to the glory of God. I take a multivitamin and supplements every day to restore my body to the state of optimum health. I eat fresh fruits and vegetables, whole grains, baked or green lean meats, healthy oils and nuts. I drink a gallon of water every day. I record and track what I eat every day. I have an abundance of energy and I'm never tired because I exercise, I get sufficient rest and my sleep is sweet. sweet. I am healed and whole in my spirit, my soul, and my body. I, the spirit man, will rule my body. My body will not rule me. I command my body now to obey me and my mind to focus on the image of divine health and nutrition. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. 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 So that is bringing your thoughts captive to the obedience of Christ. You don't have to say all of those. You can just take three and take it with you. But me, I need all of these. <laughs> I was going to say, you pray that for each one of the main meals, I know. especially at a restaurant, and you will lose weight. Yes, and that's what God, that's why God told me to do it. He told me to do it so I can begin to renew my mind. So when I get, I remember one time I, I, I was getting ready to reach for something, and I heard, I heard myself, my voice say, I command my body to obey me. I heard it because I was saying this so much that I was like, ooh. You know, like yeah, that's eat the it. Spirit man yes, it's the yes. spirit man controlling me. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Okay. And then this is. So did you just pass this around for everyone to see it? The last, last example. And we're almost finished. Demonstration is a book of remembrance. Years ago, God had me put together a book of remembrance and just this year he spoke to me again and said you're not writing down everything I, everything all the blessings that I give you now I write in my journal but this was a special book it's called the book of remembrance had my old church in Chicago my apostle that I was under he would always have me get up and do the offering message because I would always have results I would always have testimonies because I would always take God's word and I just I have faith in that area for finances so I would always take the word of God and you know, believe God for it, and I would get results. So uh, I remember one time I did a message um, on um, the Book of Remembrance, and was sharing with people about the Book of Remembrance. This is what God gave me, and what it is is you're just thinking you, you have a Book of Remembrance of everything God did for you, and God would have He would encourage me to write down, you know, write down every day. Even if He gave you favor, it can be a parking space. I know for me, a parking space is a lot to me. It's a small thing, but it's a blessing to me. When I pull up at my apartment, I don't want to park far, far away. I'm a, I'm a woman. I don't want to be, especially if I'm coming in late, I don't want to be, I have to use wisdom. So when I when I come in like late sometimes, and I pull up and it's right in front of my apartment, I praise God. That's a that's a blessing. So I write down small things like that. I write down even what God, what God has, you know, what God has done. For me, if he's answered a prayer, I write it in here. And this book of remembrance is going to be because what it is is that it, it puts me in remembrance of what God said. So if I'm believing God for something and it's been a year, I can just go back and encourage myself. Lord, I thank you. And remember what God has done to me, that if he did this for me, he's going to answer it again. Amen? Amen. So I just pray that this encourage you yes. today. Um, 
Let me read some of the scriptures of the book of remembrance right quick. Okay, Psalm 77. But it says, but I will remember the years of the right hand of the Most High. I will remember the works of the Lord. Surely I will remember thy wonders of old. I will meditate also of all thy work and talk of thy doings. Amen. So that's the book of remembrance. Amen. Now I just want to say a prayer over everybody before I sit down. Can everyone stand? Everyone can close their eyes and raise their hands. <clears throat> Father, in the name of Jesus, I just thank you, Lord God, that you are Jehovah Jireh, our provider, and you are providing for our needs according to your riches and glory in Christ Jesus. Father, we thank and praise you this morning, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for your mercy that's new to us every morning, and we thank you for your grace. And Father, I just thank you for your people, O oh Lord. And Father, we thank you for this message that you've given us to begin to acknowledge every good thing that is in us in Christ Jesus. So Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare your word over your people. I decree that spirit of prophecy, church, that we will be a people that hide the word of God in our hearts, that we may not sin against God. I decree that we will be a people that walk by faith and not by sight. We will be a people, O oh God, that your word, Lord God, will become a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. I decree in the name of Jesus that we will be a people, O oh God, that we will not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. And Lord, I decree your word that you are opening up our eyes and our ears to begin to hear and see what the Spirit of the Lord is saying unto Spirit of Prophecy Church, O oh God. Father, I thank you right now. Thank you for teaching us how to acknowledge every good thing that is in us. In Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Good job.